the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know three things. Number one, Jesus is Lord. Number two, he trained us well. Number three, sit back and watch the wonder-working power of God tonight as he heals, as he delivers. Oh, we dare to say it with every sense of confidence as touching the grace that has been given to us. Please rise up on your feet. You will never be the same. You've touched his grace. Your life has changed. You will never be the same. You will never be the same. You've touched his grace. Hallelujah. In one minute, let your expectations rise to heaven. Please go ahead. Jesus is here. Jesus is Lord. All over the nations, follow with hunger in your heart. Please lift your hands and pray. Everyone, everyone, lift your voice and pray. You are lifter. This is me, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Genesis 21 from verse 1 and 2. The last prayer point and we'll pray. And the Lord visited Joshua Selman as he has said. And the Lord did unto Joshua Selman as he has spoken. The Bible says Sarah conceived. You don't have to be a woman to conceive this kind of conception there are visions there are things you can carry your mind is a womb too and bear abraham a son even in old age at the set time which the lord god has spoken father as you have spoken do to me as you have spoken do to me tonight Shake it, Paratus, and the Gelebala Catasia. Shala, Shala, Baracota, Baladaba. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm seeing people laughing in the spirit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The power of God is going to come on those people. This is very strange. But I want you to carry them and bring them out. Like an outburst of holy laughter. There is a prophecy for them. Bring them out. This is a ministry of signs and wonders. There is nothing superstitious here. It is the mighty act of God in the midst of his people. Bring them. 
the bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous please bring them an outburst of laughter is not something you can control hmm. god of heaven these people are not this is not just a, a some carnal manifestation god is establishing great victories in their lives hallelujah victoria i'm hearing the name victoria who is victoria i presume there may be many people with that name but i want to speak to you now hold on please don't don't rumple yourself Where are you coming from? Huh? Mama, where are you coming from? I'm here in Abuja, but I come from Kaduna. From Kaduna? Yes. I want to pray for you. The power of God is coming on one of you here. Help them, please. Please don't come out carelessly. Don't come out carelessly. If you don't have any business coming out, please, there's order in the house of God. In as much as these are manifestations, don't worry. God is going to visit you. We are not wasting our time. I'm hearing the name Olu Shegun. Olu Shegun. This is a Yoruba name. Olu Shegun. You are wearing a short dress, a short-handed dress. Is there someone like that? Olu Shegun. Who is that? What's your name? Olushiago. From where? From Oki State. Okay. I want to pray for you. What do you do, sir? I manage with one of my friends. I want to pray. You heard what I was teaching about lifting. This is what is going to happen to you. My friend, believe God, oh. God is the lifter of men. Hallelujah. Mama. Please lay your hand on. I hope you are not embarrassed. Can I talk to you? I want to rebuke BP. High blood pressure. High blood pressure. I want to rebuke it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, something is about to happen here. Now, please look at me. Everybody pay attention. Let me explain before it happens. You see, the apostolic and the prophetic call if and when administered within the boundary of scripture and with spiritual intelligence outside of superstition and rubbish and nonsense when it is administered within the boundary of scripture can work wonders and you have to be flexible when you are in an apostolic and a prophetic atmosphere in as much as scripture remains the basis of all that we do the dynamics of its operation the bible says there are diversities of gifts are we together now there are diversities even of operation now i confess to you the world is watching and i want to say something before i pray there are certain gifts and manifestations that god has put upon my life that I was almost tempted to shelve them for a while until I studied through scripture or in the life of day that have gone ahead of us so that we would not bring error in the body. But I searched, searched, searched and I did not really find anyone I know operating this dimension of what, what is about to happen. And because of that, I went to scripture and then I found out that there were things that were hidden that were not known in time past but that in these days god had revealed them who is apostles and prophets the lord would open my eyes and show me the map of a nation or the map of a city and i would see light would point a particular region and the moment i announce it all the people from that region the power of god begins to touch them this is a sign and a wonder when it started in my life i said what is the meaning of this are we together now and i'm saying that because this is what i'm seeing i'm now seeing that vision right now of a map and the light of god is touching kogi state this is what i'm seeing listen help them please you see what i'm saying 
to this state to this state bring them out kalatuski de brakatushiata kebrandos kalibra katosiata kogi state god is bringing deliverance there are foundations there are altars that have tied the destinies of men down in the name of jesus i come by the apostolic and the prophetic here at this miracle service kogi state doesn't matter what local government in the name of jesus by the power that raised christ from the dead we arrest everything please don't come out on your own in the name of jesus hallelujah these things are manifestations of the spirit it is to profit the believers hear me except god is not god everything that followed you here this night to tie your destiny i declare by the power of the holy ghost help them please it must let you go now it must let you go now covenant it must let you go now yokes of ancestry it must let you go now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now there is someone here in politics the power of god is coming on you i'm not i'm not a politician i don't play politics i'm a man of god but i love politicians i love great people i don't run away from them we are sent to minister to them but there is a politician right now i'm talking the power of god is coming on the person just hold the person i want to prophesy if that is the woman just hold her i want to speak to her because i'm seeing her climb a ladder there is a strange political door that is about to open up for her listen this is the house of god it's impossible to come here and return back minister dunsin already told us here yeah, i am that i am let me use please just rest you don't have to just take it easy with her I don't know who she is but just help her please that's all right we are hold her there please don't worry you don't have to just keep her there you don't have to lift her just keep her there madam we respect you we do not insult your pedigree in any way it's just to speak over your life in the name of jesus christ i come i use her as a point of contact i don't know why god is speaking to those who are politicians if you are in politics here and you are being grounded by any reason i stand in the name of jesus you see every state rises based on the king priest prophet formation the king priest prophet formation i declare in the name of jesus everyone here politically may my god lift you to the next level may my god lift you to the next level by the power that raised Jesus from the dead. Ene Ojo. Ene Ojo. Is there a name like that? Ojo. -O. What's your name? Huh? Give please. Is the mic working? What's your name? From where? Kogi State. Stand here. I want to pray for you. You believe in Jesus? Where are you coming from? In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Every door that has been closed over your family, I'm speaking to you now. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God, may that door be opened now. Yeah. Madam, what do you do? Hold on, please. Is this mic working? Please, media help us. I'm a politician. You're a politician? Yes, sir. I hope you're not embarrassed. No, sir. <laughs> Don't cry, madam. God did not bring you here to embarrass you. I'm speaking to you in the open, in the name of Jesus Christ. 
I, I, I don't know whether in the name of Jesus Christ rise to a new level in your political career by the power that raised Christ from the dead there is a kingmaker anointing listen to me kingmakers never become kings but they enthrone kings and they remove kings it's a grace in the name of Jesus may the Lord honor you all of you who are standing here my dear shout Jesus as loud as you can you That's the name that is above every other name. I pray for all of you who are here. Everything holding you down right now. I speak in Jesus' name. Let it let you go now. It must let you go by the power that raised Christ from the dead. The Lord wants to set a family free. I'm seeing that the men in that family keep dying. This is what I'm seeing. This is a pattern all the men something continues to happen to them remember that happened to the widow at Nain. her husband died her only son died please return back to your seat rejoicing madam can i pray for you yes hold on please where are you coming from um, in Africa, from kogi and zana's mother i mean zana not... from england the right to... oh i see God bless you, ma. You're welcome. This is Koinonia. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I'm seeing chains around your chest and your hand. In Jesus' name. Help her, please. Look at this. Out of her now. Give Jesus praise. It's over forever. Mama, God bless you. You return back. Hallelujah. Sir, can I talk to you? This man on black wearing the nose mask. Please come. I hope you're not embarrassed, sir. Where are you coming from, sir? I want to pray for you. I'm seeing you try to climb a ladder and the ladder is breaking and bringing you down. And the Lord is saying to prophesy to you so that you will rise. This is what I'm seeing. You believe that? In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I decree and declare the power that lifts by the God of heaven may that grace come upon you may that grace come upon you and you will rise in a way that will surprise you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ now i want to pray the bible says even the lawful captives hold on do you know what it means to be a lawful captive to be a lawful captive means there is a legitimate ground upon the which the devil is taking advantage of you but he says even the lawful captive this is strange there is a man of god you're in ministry you're going to run out now by the power of god just hold the person and bring the person here you're in ministry we're going to pray there will be a massive deliverance here right now Deliverance means a separation between you and the obstacle that stands your way. It doesn't have to be a spirit. It can be a mountain. Once it's an obstacle, it must go. Where is the... I, I just want to speak over the... I'm, I'm seeing a man of God that... It takes more than sincere desire to do ministry. It takes the power of the Holy Spirit... Father, help him. Grant him the grace to do ministry with integrity. Amen. And in the name of Jesus, look at me, sir. You love God, and I love you, but your spirit man is very weak. In the name of Jesus, strength for you. Amen. Strength through prayer, strength through the word, strength through spiritual exercises. Receive an impartation now of fresh grace. You will return back and the work will begin to speak. In the name of Jesus Christ. As powerful as Jesus is, he needed John to open his heavens. Even if you are a midwife, there are times that you will not be the one to give birth. You will need somebody to help you. Are we together now? Let's pray. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. Inside here, following online, at the overflow. 
when we shout this name we let the nations know that he's the doer of these things now the moment we shout that name listen to me there are chains and there are yokes that have tied people down some of you as you are standing you are representing families at this shout the fire from heaven will fall upon you please i want you to bring them out bring your various overflows just bring them out those at the balcony please be careful so that you don't just fall from there are we together now father you anointed us and you call this a miracle service there are men and women who have been under yokes of bondage all kinds bondages of delay bondages of retrogression the ill speakings of people and the bible declares for this purpose was the son of god made manifest that he may destroy the works of the evil one therefore lord as we lift up this shout the healer the same way the walls of jericho fell let everything that does not name the name of christ give way are you ready now at the count of three one two three shout jesus i command every power I command every force, bring them out. Every yoke of ancestry holding God's people down in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. My God. Wherefore, God had so highly exalted him and giving him a name an office above every other office above thrones above dominions i declare every power holding you down bring them out that power is dislodged now we are still praying please bring them out shagapakatos some of you are representing families god is asking me to pray the power of god is going to come upon you but it's not just for yourself it's for your entire family lord every family represented here makatos keba that is under any kind of yoke i declare by the spirit of god in the name of jesus christ that yoke is broken now broken now broken now broken now there are people here every time good things are about to manifest you keep walking but just when it's about to happen you may go back and have dreams and encounters and wake up and you will have bought precious things anyone here that experiences failure just at the edge of breakthrough may fire fall upon you now may fire fall upon you now May fire fall upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Who is like him? Lion and the lamb seated on the throne. Mountains bow down, every ocean roll to the Lord of Lords. We will praise Adonai From the rising of the sun To the end of every day Praise Adonai Hallelujah, Elijah I'm hearing a name, Elijah Elijah, we're going to pray for the sick shortly Please stretch your hands towards me. I just saw something in the spirit. If you can, just stretch your hands towards me. I saw a vision and I'm seeing what looks like a bag being given to people. And the Lord is telling me, this is, I'm seeing written on it, good news. I'm seeing the number 71. Just stretch your hands towards me. Father, hold on please. From my left to my right, everyone who must receive this, inside, outside, right now, I stretch my hands. May that anointing come upon you. Help them, please. In the name of Jesus, sounds of good news. Sounds of good things. Sounds of good. Help them. Some of you news that you have been waiting 
for for many years many years suddenly suddenly god is bringing it by the power of the holy ghost suddenly what do you do you are elijah what do you do you are a pastor where you have your own church can i pray for you you are elijah hold on please don't mr man i'm seeing fire coming on you now take that grace in the name of jesus you will never be the same again in the name of jesus christ pastor can i pray for you listen we are co-laborers and god granted us grace to help one another are we together now i stretch my hands towards you by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus may the lord anoint you may your ministry step into profound dimensions of signs and wonders in the name of jesus christ mm. hallelujah my god please look up i'm seeing a very interesting vision the lord just opened my eyes and i saw a grave and i saw it open and i saw things not people things that are there coming out i'm declaring to someone this is not just restoration this is resurrection there are some of you they've concluded things about you about your family about businesses i call upon my god everything that has been buried over your destiny that you will not rise conclusions made over your family I call upon my God who is your God Talita Kumi that which is dead come back to life Talita Kumi that which is dead come back to life help them please every family dying businesses dying families come back to life by the power of the Holy Ghost Hallelujah. I'm hearing a name, Zainab. Zainab. I pray for all of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the power that raised Christ from the dead rest upon you. My dear, this lady, shout Jesus as loud as you can. My friend, what do you do? Sales boy. You are a sales boy. Yes, Where? In Cuba. I'm selling gas. You are selling gas. 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 Uh, refilling of gas. Will you believe what I will tell you? Yes, sir. Go and register a company. Okay. Huh? Okay. God is taking you into oil and gas. Stand up. My friend. We are not entertainers, so we fear God. I will not stand here and rubbish myself in the presence of God's people. Huh? Go, please hold on. Please don't come out at random. Don't worry, God will minister to everyone. There's order in the house of God so that we don't um... But I want to pray for you. It will not happen now, but it's going to happen. Be faithful. I saw light just coming to the, the choir. I just saw light in the worship area. I don't know what it is, but I just saw a strong anointing. There are people there in the name of Jesus. There's a, the, the anointing of the Holy Ghost is coming. They say that a river, a river. There are people falling into that river. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Christ of God, that river, it will drink in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Please, who is sign up? Where are you coming from? But no state. What do you do, man? Come. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands.
this is 13 years even if it is three months in the name of jesus barrenness dies now barrenness dies now barrenness dies now in the name of jesus christ madam i pray for you according to the time of life in the name that is above all names go and tell your husband that here at this miracle service the lord has brought visitation for you in the name of jesus christ help her please praise the lord why is she here your name is zainab you too huh i'm a muslim you called me last week you are a muslim yes, it doesn't yes. matter you are welcome this is god's house huh there's no prejudice god bless you whether we love everyone buddhist muslim whatever you are you just come one guarantee is that you will not go back the way you came that's the deal but you are welcome you come the way you are i want to pray for you zainab in the name of jesus christ may the lord bring a visitation for your family a supernatural visitation everyone trusting god for a job i just saw something now please believe hmm. you are trusting god for a job wherever your job is in the name of jesus christ may god take you there right now i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead some of you by this time next week i stand by the god of my covenant and i declare by this time next week may god surprise you you will come and stand here and you will testify of the marvelous hand of god in the name of jesus christ hallelujah we are going to pray for the sick shortly i'm hearing a name pious who is pious pious you are pious you are a worker here you're in new security here it's still the same thing all this ministry doesn't whether you're a worker you know most times people have a cliche in churches that workers don't receive anything only other people get, no this once jesus shows up including me who is speaking everybody you will swim in that river and you receive are we together i want to pray for you in the name of jesus christ i declare by the power of the holy spirit no the pious i'm seeing is wearing white like me like this this is what you are wearing <laughs> you are surprised <laughs> this is the place of encounter this is the place of surrender sir don't worry i'll still pray for you ah you are if we love our workers you are a faithful how could i'm just trying to say that this is what's not the word you understand but it means that listen whether god gives you a prophetic word in your ears or not the prophecy of scripture is valid you can use the prophecy of scripture and prophesy to yourself and it will happen the same way a prophet spoke to you no matter how accurate what we say is we still see in part the word of god scripture must be exalted above every gift and every prophetic word this becomes your comfort that even though we may not have the time to mention everybody's name and even if there is time we do not have the bible says though i speak with tongues of men and angels though i understand all visions and all of that we are limited but it's for you to believe sir i want to pray for you where are you coming from sir abuja here can i pray for you god is lifting people this is what i'm seeing god is lifting people God is showing me someone, you work in civil defense. It's time for your lifting. This is, this is civil defense. Civil defense. 
Now, madam, you work in civil defense. I will pray for you, but is there anybody on the balcony that works in civil defense? This is what I'm seeing. This is a lady or not a man. Is there someone like that? Balcony, oh, find out, find out first. Where, where were you sitting? Come, come and stand. This is the place of encounter. Do to me what you want. Hallelujah. My dear, in the name of Jesus Christ, I don't care what is the issue that is on the table. According to the word of the Lord, if God could locate you, I declare. And I also pray for you. Also, civil defense, madam, I want to pray for you. Where are you from? I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will come and stand, both of you. You will stand here before the people of God. And you will testify of strange liftings. In the name of Jesus, receive that grace now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Sir, I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help her, please. Daddy. I don't know why you are standing outside here, but I want to pray for you. We are going to pray for the sick. I'm going to pray for you. Is it husband and wife? Madam, I need to pray. Because I hope you are not embarrassed, sir. Can I talk to you? Ah, we have to pray. I believe in miracles. God is taking sickness. Sickness. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing many things. I'm seeing a thermometer go up and down, up and down, up and down. This is BP. Two people will start running in the overflow outside. Outside. Now, we may not have time to bring them out outside. I'm seeing the power of God outside, the overflow outside. Just bring them to the front of the projector screen. I want to pray for them because the Lord is taking away the yoke of delay over those families this is what the lord is showing me sir may my god bless you in the name of jesus and for you sir may my god please stand up you're a worker what do you want god to do for you look at a wise man you heard what he said he said i want to know him more Is it not relationship that brought this privilege now? Don't you think relationship has other privileges too? The greatest prayer request is relationship. You can have a man's hand, but when you have his heart, you have access to everything. Are we together? And I truly pray that God will help you to know him more. The Holy Ghost that was given to us to help us know the Lord. But in addition to that, the fringe benefits of that relationship that is speaking your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know why God is visiting the workers. One of you, ushers here, the power of God is coming on you. Eh? you I know you are ushers, you are doing your work, but let God visit you first, then you continue doing what you are doing. I'm saying the power of God on the ushers now we are going to I'm seeing a strong anointing sir there is something the devil put on your throat sir this is what I'm saying I don't know you sir let, let, let the wife talk madam please talk to us I'm not I'm not sure I got this is what I'm saying. I'm and then there is cancerous. I'm going to operate him and there's no no of him will not come again. They will operate him and he and you know I had an operation three weeks ago. They said they're going to do another one next week. In fact, by Saturday, 
He said, Samson, I don't know. So I'm running around for God to help me. Every human agent in partnership with dark powers over your husband, madam, or over your wife, sir, or over your children, or over your parents, I bow my knees to the God of my covenant and I declare in the name of Jesus that thing is destroyed now. Destroyed now. Destroyed now. Help them. Destroyed now. Please stand up. Let me tell you this. You see, one of the ways that God helps you to dispense the anointing is he plants compassion in you over the lives of people. This is somebody's father and grandfather. Now he's saying that, look, doctors are a miracle. They are instruments of God's mercy. Without them, we will not even live to even learn the ways of God. But look what is happening to this man now. We're about to pray for the sick shortly. I'm sure there's a reason why the Lord left him here. That he came together with our mother here. And now, they are, I don't know what kind of surgery they are going to do now. But that he will never be able to speak again. Sir. Come again. So that is either life or death. Don't worry, madam. You are in the right place. You are a man of God here. Please listen to me. You see the reason why we must keep contending for the anointing. It's not enough to say I'm Apostle Joshua Selman. I am this. Our alignment. There are destinies tied to our obedience. There are destinies tied to our prayer, our fasting, our diligence. The miracle that happens to this man and this family can bring many to Jesus. So no matter what level you are in ministry, please let this thing plant a genuine hunger. All these celebrity things that destroy us, push it one side and settle with God. Carry genuine fire, ever increasing fire. Yesterday's oil may not solve today's challenges. You will need fresh fire for the season. And if you are not ready to stay with God, don't ask God to give you members. What will you be doing with them? It's evil to ask people to come and gather people everywhere and then waste their time, share the grace and go back. Please don't be offended. I'm not, I'm just sharing with you a passion. I'm looking at this man's situation. Daddy, we're going to pray for you. And I believe Jesus that he will do a miracle for you. I don't know what it is that he has put. And then God will heal you of BP. Because I saw a thermometer going up and coming down. Can we pray for the sick now? In the name of Jesus. Please, no, stand up, sir. God bless you. My people have prayed for you. You can go back to your seat. Let's pray for the sick now. It's important. You see, I know that we live in very challenging times. And the devil has complicated matters by bringing all kinds of sicknesses on people. We had the miracle service in Zaria um, day before yesterday and I was touched and broken when a woman came who had showed me they, they were doing dialysis for her. It's a family that is not well, very well to do. And then in the midst of it now, I'm not a doctor, but medical people will tell you here. I don't know how much it costs to do dialysis, but it's a very serious thing. Hallelujah. But Jesus still heals. And right now, please listen, we have to do it very fast because I know your prayer requests are here. By the way, if you are yet to write it, please make sure that you do so quickly. But I'm going to minister to the sick right now. And when I pray for you, all the overflows outside, following online, maybe some of you are following from hospitals on a sick bed, death sentence, about to go. I want you to believe Jesus. Hallelujah. 
as soon as I pray for you, listen please, the power of God will come upon you. Already miracles have started happening. Now this is what will happen. As soon as the power of God touches you and I ask you to check yourself, I want you to run out here. Please, whether they are in overflow, one, two, three, down to the basement or outside, those online, you can register your testimony online. I want you to come out, use either this place. No, 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 you don't have to bring them out. I'm praying for them right from there. So whether you come out from here or here, once you are healed, then you bring them out. You don't have to bring the sick out. They'll crowd this place. I'm just going to pray for you. This is just because our father came out and stood here. Are we together? Now lay your hands very quickly, everyone. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. He touched me. The master touched me. And oh, what joy fills my soul. Something happened, and now I know He touched me and gave me home. There will be a loud shout of a gentleman and a lady. The moment that shout happens, the healing power of Jesus will begin to move. A gentleman and a lady now we're ready to pray please I'd like you to believe with a loud amen as I pray in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ my God the healing anointing is flowing here in the name of Jesus Christ every devil behind infirmities you don't have to bring them out right now miracles are happening i command those devils to give way now give way now give way now now in the name of jesus christ from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name migraine headaches be healed in Jesus name ulcers be healed in Jesus name all kinds of growths and lumps around the body I command them to disappear now bone conditions be healed now those on crutches those on wheelchairs in the name of jesus be healed now be healed now and you try to stand up you're on a crutch leave the crutch and start walking in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ deaf ears partial deafness complete deafness be healed now Blind eyes open now. All kinds of cancers and ulcers, like our father here. Now I'm praying for you, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands to you, and then as a point of contact to everyone having any demonic death sentence, in Jesus' name, be healed now. Be healed now. The Lord is showing me people having severe abdominal problems, all kinds of abdominal problems here. The power of God is touching you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone, what you have looks like what we call Parkinson's. I think I'm right. That thing that makes you to just shake, your body shakes. In the name of Jesus, I declare. May the power of the Holy Ghost touch you now. May the power of the Holy Ghost touch you now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a lady here. 
you don't have anything cancer but your hair falls this is this has been a very demonic thing right now the power of god is touching you be healed now be healed now please don't don't you're punishing this man just keep him somewhere when he's healed he can stand up and come huh the man is trying to stand now don't be embarrassed i want to pray for you you don't have to come out the lord is showing me a woman you are not um what do you call it now you are not a nursing mother yet you are lactating now i hope i know what i'm saying praise the lord but this is what is happening in the name of jesus christ let there be a miracle for you now i don't know what the medical condition is but in jesus name we stop it now there's someone your left is this your left eye you don't see very well with it after this prayer check it right now a miracle is happening to you i'm feeling pains here literally at the left side of my uh what they call this your kneecap this is somebody's condition right now the power of god is touching you supernatural miracle right now supernatural miracle right now in the name of jesus christ back pains all kinds of back pains in the name of jesus christ be healed now the lord is showing me at least eight people you have to take pills to sleep you can't lie down normally and sleep i think there's a medical condition there's a name for it you are, you are not able to lie down and sleep you must take a lot of drugs one of you the power of god is coming on you now that demonic thing we command it to live your life in jesus name in the name of jesus and then i'm seeing someone until now i think you have a problem with your shoulder i don't know what it is you cannot lift it as soon as i pray just lift it check yourself do what you cannot do you'll be surprised that the power of god has touched you right now supernatural miracle and then i'm seeing someone you can't walk like walk outside for a long time you become unusually tired you are not a very old person but then you walk no matter how even if you you rested the whole day once you walk out just for a few minutes you become extremely tired the power of god is touching you now no you don't have to come out you check yourself when when it's time to take miracles we'll take them in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing multiple breast lumps the lord is healing them right now any stranger in your body that has not been planted by god i command it to go out now hallelujah i'm seeing you've been feeling like you are pregnant but you are not pregnant and yet it looks like the symptoms of pregnancy is with you dear this is a demonic thing in the name of jesus i don't know who that that kind of occurrence you have dreams and you see all these ugly spirits come to molest you and this thing you be, you feel as if you are pregnant physically but then you are not really pregnant in the name of jesus anyone in fraternity with dark powers that they are taking advantage of you to spy upon your liberty i declare be released right now sugar diabetes be healed now hepatitis be healed now The Lord is showing me someone is it that you fell down from a bed or you fell down from a building or something and your rib area is like you fell down right there and from that day till now there's been severe pain around your rib area but right now as I'm spraying the power of God is touching you be healed in the name of Jesus now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus be healed now three things we're going to do at the same time number one all those check yourself now 
check yourself you find out there are people that jesus has healed inside outside i want you to run quickly you can come and stand here people are coming celebrate them or you stand here please come check yourself check yourself please make sure you check them there will be people here to ch i spotted dr bukola williams somewhere please you can help to just verify the people let's just have people come in god has healed you please come out and stand while that is happening please ushers pr you can help them please pass your prayer request to the last person at the aisle whether left or right and then they lift it up very quickly so that we'll have them together very quickly jesus is healing people koinoni are you celebrating miracles from all the overflows please make your way creator of the universe what can you do what can you do jesus creator of say what can you do keep coming keep coming all the overflow just allow those who are healed to come you're the name Hallelujah. Let's have a few of the. Do we have the mics? Are they ready? Let's just have a few very quickly, please. Whilst that is happening, please do well. If you need a minute to quickly write your prayer request, please write it. They are bringing all of them to the altar here. We are going to be praying and let the God that answers by fire bring miracles to you in the name of Jesus. Ensure that the overflows, everyone has their prayer request those online i like you to keep faith we're going to pray and the power of god will touch you there yes very quickly please she said she has had it for over a month now but the pain is gone it's gone Ben. Yes. any pain any pain completely in the name of jesus it never returns to you by the power of the holy ghost that anointing comes on you it perfects you in jesus name yes please you mentioned the kneecap challenge Immediately you mentioned that the pain disappeared. She How long have you had it, madam? A month. A month. Check yourself. Any pain? No. Completely gone. Give Jesus praise. Let's celebrate Jesus. Back yeah. pain too. Our mommy has had back pain. Our labs. Let her speak. Go ahead, ma. I've been having pain from my labs for over three months now. But and right now? Ah, ah, look at this. Look at this. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. Yes, sir. Um, also, you gave Hold on, please. Knowledge. Just a moment. Yes. So you gave a word of knowledge for the knee. The knee. The knee. How long? For over three months now. Check yourself. It's gone. Completely gone. Every other issue goes like that in the name of Jesus. Yes, please. So we have another knee here. The same, the same problem. Knee. Yeah. Check yourself. It's gone. Completely. It's gone. In the name knee of all of you. Three months. Yes. Three months. Are you seeing the coin? It looks like coincidences everything that is off balance in your life in jesus name restoration comes for it yes sir 2016 2016 yes sir your knee yes. and right now run you told me to do a surgery go ahead run check yourself any pain any pain just a little huh jump in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare never never returns again by the power of the holy spirit yes you mentioned the case of someone that fell from the bay 
this is it she had had the pain in the leg but the pain is gone oh i'm now. seeing is is that a bandage or something yes let her speak when straight to the point straight to the point okay, what what happened <laughs> don't worry don't worry take your time uh-huh this evening when i came in i had so much pains i had to go to the medical but he kept telling me it was it has to take one month four weeks for me to get well and then i told him i was even this evening I had an engagement he said i should just keep straight i don't know if it's outside that i should just keep putting my leg like this and not press the leg so that it doesn't get okay what me. happened now but now i feel a lot better in the name of jesus christ i stretch my hands and i declare perfection perfection by the power of the holy spirit yes please with a pain around the, 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 the shoulder, shoulder. Yes, it's gone. Healed now. gone check yourself completely my goodness in the name of jesus it never returns by the power of the holy spirit yes please another case of me can healed mama how long has it been uh, since on the second of uh this month okay i just came back from my mother's burial from the village the kneecap started and the same thing happened to my elder sister that i lost on the 13th of uh, January. She came back from the village and this same thing led to her death. Anybody that digs a pit for you, what happened to her man, may it happen to them. The rod of the wicked, the Bible says, shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Mama be healed completely perfected in Jesus name. Yes please, go ahead. This is of chest pain at the shoulder and the breast region, they are both healed. Completely. In the name of Jesus, a miracle for you. Yes, sir. Right. So, Apostle, she's an actress and she, she's having a shortness of breath. And you, you are an actress. Yes. Uh, I'm an actress. I met a guy on a location brand. And after meeting the guy, after we left the location, got to my hotel room, I start feeling dizzy. And anytime I walk a little, I start feeling weak inside of me. So my pastor's wife gave me the clips, your, one of your clips to watch. And in my dream, you gave me sugar. So I, decided, I told my pastor's wife everything and he asked me to come here. To come Lagos. here? Yes. From I Lagos you Lagos. came? Yes. And right now he's gone. Yes. Make sure you take a bottle of wine and go and thank your pastor's wife. May the Lord bless you. And if she's watching, the Lord bless you, ma. And the Lord honor you. I decree and declare not only is God bringing perfection, even in your career, you will thrive, go from glory to glory in jesus name ah there's a miracle here praise the lord praise the lord my god oh god people who saw me coming in in fact i had to beg the security men to help me park very close to the gate because i can't work with this without this I how so long much pain how long has it last been last year may okay and the doctors told me that i needed total hip replacement i've been having severe pains like my hip was caught but while you told uh, the people who were laughing in the spirit to come out, I stood up and immediately I just felt the Walk. pain. Walk. Completely gone. Pain. Are you celebrating miracles? Look at this. In the name of Jesus, we declare perfection. It never returns by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Give Jesus praise. We have cases of ulcer being healed, peptic ulcer. So how many years? Peptic ulcer for more than two years. And the pain. Mine is six years. Six years. In the name of Jesus, for all of you who, who have suffered ulcer, I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, this healing is, is completely perfected. It will never return back again. In Jesus' name I pray. 24 years 24 years ah. place your hand on your chest i'm touched just by that lord may it never return a miracle for you there's a miracle in this room with my name on. there's a breakthrough in this room with my name on. Healing for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, sir. My God, there are so many miracles. Let's see what we can do. Yes, please. 
knee now all of you who have knee issues just place your hand there let me just seal your miracle by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus the son of the living god either here or here all of you together i declare healing for you perfection in jesus name yes Benga, go ahead he came here very very sick he said he had muscle pain so he went to the medicals they yes. gave him drugs but he was still feeling it but immediately you mentioned i it think we should celebrate our doctors they are doing an amazing work at the medical session very intelligent skilled people giving their heart and their all to the lord the lord bless you in jesus that name completely the pains are gone yes sir. in the name of jesus it never returns to you by the power of the holy spirit yes please you mentioned the case but now she's no longer feeling it how long has this been i've been having it uh, for a very long time but ever since i started praying for my sister because she has a kidney yes sickle cell gallbladder stone so ever since i started praying for her i don't know whether they were just attacking me so anytime i take in that hotness will just remove the pregnancy so and sometimes i can't even my cloth just for my cloth to stay, relax on my body i can't i must open like because it's too hot that i need to get something cold to touch it but immediately you talked about healing so the the whole thing now started coming down it's not as bad as, as it used to be so right now i'm not feeling that hotness come in my womb in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare don't cry this is your sister's photo job 42 verse 10 and the lord turned again the captivity of job when he prayed for his friend i pray in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god lay your hands there and watch a miracle happen for you right now by the power that raised christ from the dead i decree and declare for you and for your sister let there be a miracle right now and whatever has been responsible for these miscarriages we curse it by the god of heaven go and return back a joyful mother of children in Jesus' name. God bless you. Completely. Check yourselves. All of you with shoulder issues, in Jesus' name, we may just take two, two, and then I'll pray. I know that there are so many people. Now, listen, every time you're unable to testify here real time, you can always register your testimony and then let us know. Um, by the way, week all week long, the media lines are opened. You can always register your testimony and then I know that we have a lot of people and sometimes we are constrained by time. But it is good for God's people to know that God is at work in your life. Feel secured, feel safe to share your testimonies. It doesn't have to be a healing miracle in any area at all. Praise the name of the Lord. We'll see how God will grant us grace to dedicate a little more time. Testimonies are powerful. They are attestations of the love, the power, the grace of God. And we don't downplay them at all. Praise the name of the Lord. So let's take two, maybe two each, and then we'll just pray generally for the rest. Yes, ma'am. Ah, let her speak. Okay, I had a lump on my shoulder here. Wow. And it was really conspicuous, and it, it, was, it just kept growing. But it has shrunk completely. Give Jesus praise. <laughs> Creative miracles by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we declare every growth. It leaves never to return. In Jesus' name I pray. Give Jesus praise. The last person, please. Back pain is here. The pains are gone. Back pain. Back pain. Check yourself, my dear. Any pain. Any pain. Completely gone. In Jesus' name, perfection for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, Apostle. You gave a word of knowledge about someone that is lactating. Wow. How long has this been? Since 2019. 2019? Yes. And I this was... has happened to you? Yes, sir. And what happened to you now? I went to the bathroom. You went check. out to check yourself? Yes, I went It's to... gone. Come on, Koinonia. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare perfection for your body in Jesus' name. Yes, please. So, sir, this is... She's been healed, her ankle and she's had her eyes for two years she couldn't see right now she can actually see then mama back in several testimonies oh apostle Hold and on. Every... i'm interested in this too our time is gone but can i pray for you madam how long has this been it started since march this year since march check yourself now any pain completely gone i decree and declare it never returns to you again by the power of the holy spirit god bless you 
Yes, madam. Since two years now, I've not been seen very well. Every what couldn't you see? Everything. I always have severe pains in my eyes. Before I would sleep, I would always apply this uh, eye drop every night, every day, before going to bed. But today, I came with the severe pain, seriously. But after your prayers, everything just disappeared. I can't feel any pains anymore. Hallelujah. And I can see very well You now. can see clearly. Very well. Place your hands on your eyes. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree, spiritually and physically, may you truly begin to see. In the name of Jesus, perfection for your vision. Now, I pray for all of you. I'm sure that many of you thank you, by the way, for the courage to come intending to testify. For constraint of time, we may not be able to testify now, but I pray for you. Every miracle you have received, and those are the overflow, those following from whatever nation, in Jesus' name, it remains so. It remains permanent, never to return again. We declare that you are blessed now, you are blessed forever. In Jesus' name, I pray. Please rise up on your feet, stretch your hands here. We're about to pray. This is a very prophetic hour right now. Our time is gone, but please be patient. This is a very critical part of the miracle service where we get to pray over the requests. Just stretch your hands towards me as I agree. We have a covenant of answered prayers with the Lord. If there are still more, please bring it quickly so that we have it here. Please begin to pray and decree and declare. These Egyptians I see today, I see them no more forever. Please make sure you pray. God of vengeance has fight my battle for me. God of miracles has won my battles for me. I'm a winner man, I'm a winner man, he has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man, I'm a winner man, he has won my battles for me. God of vengeance, God of vengeance has won my battle for me. God of miracles has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man, I'm a winner man Please stretch your hands in one minute and let's pray Father, God of heaven, please pray You are receiving by faith We are crying to the God of heaven Just pray In the name of Jesus why do we pray over our requests because the Bible says in Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 to be anxious for nothing it says but in everything by prayer and supplication with Thanksgiving it says to make our requests known let your requests be made known 
this is the most accurate representation of our desires our frustrations our constraints no matter how we prophesy we are not able to reach as many people but this is everyone's genuine desire nobody reads it this is between you and your maker but i stand in the name of jesus by the privilege of priesthood and i declare over this request that these egyptians you see today may you see them no more forever every shame and every disappointment written here represented here by the power that raised christ from the dead it is turned to joy every closed door that is responsible for this request here we command those doors to be open now father i pray and call upon you who is the god of all flesh who has sent us standing in the midst of your people i decree and declare lord let every one of these prayer requests be turned to testimonies in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ and for those who are not here but you wrote for them may the angel of the lord's presence right from this place go to their homes their nations and bring strange miracles for them please lift your hands to receive the blessing father I want you to believe right now the anointing you need for the results that your destiny needs to command I pray for you you don't have to bring those under the anointing outside now in the name of Jesus whether in ministry whether in politics in business there are parliamentarians here there are people from everywhere there are business people veterans in business civil service i pray the unction required for the next level of your results i stand here and i declare let it come upon you now <laughs> that before miracle service before miracle service june i decree and declare you will check all these requests and you will not find any left and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon whoever must send for you in this season i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead may the book of remembrance be open now If there's anyone here that the spirit of death is trailing or trailing your family members whether death through the air by sea by land in the name of Jesus we speak to the spirit of death you stay clear of them now <laughs> hallelujah every long-standing issue that has refused to answer to the name of the lord i agree with you in the name of jesus christ let it be answered tonight <laughs> hallelujah whatever has failed in your hands in the name of jesus go back and succeed whatever has refused to walk in your hands i declare go back and succeed for those of you in ministry fresh fire for the new season those of you in business fresh connections and illumination those in politics parliamentarians supernatural grace in the name of jesus and then i pray for your spiritual life there is always an emphasis on our relationship with Jesus Christ, our passion and our hunger. I'm going to make the altar call shortly, but let me pray for your spiritual life. You go up today, you are down tomorrow. You pray today, then you ignore the prayer altar. You study today, then you ignore it. The grace for consistency. Take that grace now. 
grace for prayer fasting word study worship may that grace rest upon you now can we pray over favor father upon your people the proof of favor is not just money the proof of favor is loyalty to the hearts of men i pray for you everybody who must consider you in the name that is above all names find favor with them find favor with systems find favor with structures find favor with government find favor with captains of industry find favor with gatekeepers in the name of jesus christ and everything you came with tonight as a point of contact i declare by the spirit of the living god whether it's a document your credentials whatever it is i release my faith and i agree with you even as you have lifted it up you remain lifted in the name of jesus christ shame and reproach we call it by name and we banish it from your life in the name of jesus christ very quickly there are people here who are saying apostle our time is gone but we need jesus please if you can i know that we've been standing for a long time let's minimize movement let's just honor these ones the overflow outside those in right to the basement and those within this auditorium there are people saying apostle haven't seen what the lord has done in this place i know that my relationship with jesus needs to be mended i need to start a relationship or i need to rededicate my life we have just two minutes for you aside from those outside those inside and then the overflows outside there please i want you to quickly take a step of faith and come and stand here you want to give your heart to jesus you want to rededicate your life i want you to leave your seat right now let's celebrate them someone has to summon that courage to come and stand here koinonia is this the best you can do keep coming quickly my soul says yes says yes says yes my soul says yes says yes keep standing one minute please quickly come and join them my soul says yes says yes says yes my soul says yes says yes to your will i salute every one of you for the courage to come to jesus the bible says as many who will come please join them quickly if you're joining them please those coming from outside allow them to come very quickly so that they join the bible says as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away lift your right hand to jesus and say it convincingly let it also be from the depth of your heart say lord jesus say it again say lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god tonight i declare that jesus is my savior i declare that jesus is my lord i declare that jesus is my king i receive forgiveness of sin i receive the life of god i declare that i go forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus keep your hands lifted father thank you for this once they have come in response to your love and i commend them to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit i declare that you are partakers of the life of god you are benefactors of the gift of righteousness the abundance of grace and you begin to reign from tonight forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus christ the lord bless you the lord honor you in jesus name now very quickly i want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands with the placard please follow them very quickly let's celebrate them koinonia amen praise the name of the lord now 
from next week sunday we're going to start a very powerful series i remain committed by the grace of god to helping us understand the kingdom and to receive miracles is going to last the next two months and i want us to trust god for grace please to learn and then come to receive the grace it takes to demonstrate the reality of the things that we've heard have you been blessed tonight please rise up on your feet father in the name of jesus we declare that this week beginning we call it a week of victory in the name of jesus christ everyone who came here today you return next week a sign and a wonder in the name of jesus christ the bible says as they went they saw the miracles the 10 lepers now i declare that as you go everything you have not seen here you will see it before you get home and you'll see it before you return here next week the lord bless you the lord honor you in jesus name when we share the grace do well to say hello to someone by your left and right before you leave let's share the grace the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit let it rest and abide with us now and forevermore dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline